How we doing? It's CCA Nick. Follow me on Instagram at Nick Venti. If you enjoy this content, give me a thumbs up. Don't treat me like a 204B over here. So today I wanted to talk about this letter I got in the mail yesterday. It was uh, regarding my break in service. So about a month before your break in service, they'll give you a, a letter in the mail. My postmaster told me she also got an email about it. So uh, a month before, they'll give you all this info. I will read to you a little bit what it says. So it says, Dear Nicholas, thank you for supporting the United States Postal Service as a non-career employee. This correspondence is notification that your current appointment with the USPS will expire within the next few weeks. You will be required to take a break in service of five calendar days at a minimum before you can be reappointed. This letter is not a guarantee of reappointment. During this break in service, you will not be considered employed by or on the rolls of the USPS and so will not be able to perform any work for the USPS. Your last day in a pay status and separation effective date for your current appointment is listed below. And it says the last day in pay status, which is the last day I'll be working before my break, is December 20th, 2021. And then it says required break in service. December 21st, 2021 to, de to December 25th, 2021. So the week of Christmas. How lucky did I get? How lucky did I get? So uh, December 21st through the 25th, I'll have a five-day break. And then it says reappointment effective no sooner than December 26th, 2021. So I'll be back after Christmas. I talked to my postmaster because it says in here to uh, consult with your manager supervisor immediately concerning reappointment. And I was, I was like, uh, I was kind of joking. I'm like, uh, am I going to be reappointed? Am I, I going to be back on? And she was like, uh, of course, sugar. So uh, I know that's, uh, I knew I was going to be back. I They, they need help. So, uh, so yeah, uh, you get a thing in the mail saying uh, the exact date. It's a month, about a month before because it's we're in the December now, almost Thanksgiving tomorrow, and uh, my break in service is around that time. So uh, about a month before, you'll get this notification t letting you know, and it's going to be a vacation. I haven't had a vacation all year. I called off, I think, twice, so I only missed two days of work. So that's working six days every week, sometimes seven, eight. Like this week, I worked, uh, my last day off was Tuesday, and then now I'll be off Thursday, so working... Uh, Decent, over seven days in a row. And today was rough too. We had three bundles. We had the ad papers and then marriage mail. It was rough today. Like, it, and one and uh, two or three routes had four bundles and everything had to go today. It was it was a rough one today. But uh, and this starting at six a.m. I'm I'm in penalty time after four. So uh, and overtime after two. So uh, you forget. I, I forget sometimes. I start at six and then I, it's like four o'clock and I'm like, damn, I'm already in penalty time. So. Uh, that's a good thing, uh, and plus two, if you're on a hold down and you're doing these par par you're doing these parcel runs in the morning, you could uh, well at least in my office, I'm running a lot of my packages for my hold down, so that's kind of nice, and also uh, running for a few other routes that are in that area. So she's like, oh, grab thirty or thirty one is my hold down, then I'll oh, do thirty five, twenty one. Uh, 15, 8, so uh, I'll grab some of those packages too, and uh, running packages is easy, especially at all year to learn a lot of these routes. I, I know a lot of the territory around where I where I work, so uh, just by carrying the mail and doing that as my aux, like my hold down, I'll do my hold down, then I usually do something different as my aux, so that I was able to learn a lot of the territory, a lot of the routes. Amazon Sunday helps you with the, learning the territory too. So uh, now uh, when she has me do 35 and 21, like I, I know those routes. I've carried them before. So uh, I don't need the GPS. I could just run a lot of packages. So, uh, so yeah, that's kind of uh, what I want to talk about, the break in service. So it'll be nice to have a vacation. I don't have anything planned yet, but I'm, plan I'm planning on something. I, I didn't know exactly what the dates were going to be. But now that I have the dates, I'm going to plan something and relax. So uh, I hope everyone has a good Thanksgiving. Friday is going to suck, but we're going to get through it. Let's make that money. I posted my time card yesterday, 13-hour day. Today was only 11 and a half, so uh, not not too bad. I wanted, I wanted uh, they took my extra off me, actually, because we had three bundles. So took my route a lot longer, so uh, they took my extra off me. So uh, not as good of a money day as yesterday, but 
Uh, there's been plenty of money days ahead. Unfortunately, no penalty time in December, but you know we're still gonna make get a lot of hours, still make that money. So the money is for the taking. Let's take it. So uh, be the best care you could be. Have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you in the next video.